Hi, I'm Kathy, the art teacher, and I've created a new drawing video to show you how to draw the Statue of Liberty. The project comes from my website, Art Projects for Kids, which I do hope becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step drawing lessons. Over the years, it has helped millions of kids learn how to draw. So please check out my videos, and if you like them, hit that like and subscribe button that's up in the corner. It really helps me make more of these. Now, let me show you how to draw the Statue of Liberty. I think the trick to drawing this statue and not getting too overwhelmed by all her details is to simplify the robe that she is wearing. Let me show you the best way that I know how to do that. First though, you need to collect your art supplies, drawing paper, a pencil, black marker, and crayons. To follow along with a printed set of directions, this tutorial can be downloaded for free from my website. Before you begin your drawing, it really helps to make some guidelines on your paper. By folding and creasing your paper three times, the way I'm showing here, you'll have guidelines that match my tutorial. Step number one, start the face right below the top guideline as shown here. Include simple eyes, nose, and mouth. Step number two, draw the neck and start the body with a line underneath. Then draw a basic robe shape on the right side and have it end just above the bottom of the paper. Draw the same shape on the left side. Add lines at the bottom for a basic platform shape. Step number three, draw a band above the face and add the hair. To space out the seven points on the crown, draw the center one first then the outside ones, and then two more in the gaps. Step number four, draw the arm on the left with an open space for the hand. Add a small square shape for the overlapping fingers. Step number five, draw the cone shape and flame behind those fingers. Note that the flame touches the top of the paper. Now draw the robe sleeve around this arm. And then erase the arm lines inside it. Step number six, draw the basic shape for the arm on the right. Step number seven, draw the tablet in front of that arm. and erase the lines inside the tablet when you are done. Start the shape of the robe that drapes across the body, and then draw the bottom line of that overlapping robe shape. Step number eight, erase the lines inside that overlapping shape. And finally, add some fold lines to the robe like I'm doing here. Step number nine, it's time to start tracing your Statue of Liberty drawing. And when you are done, it's a good time to erase any extra pencil lines that you see. Now the coloring of the Statue of Liberty is easy. It's all a bluish green color. Any light green crayon that you have will be fine though. And here's my trick for drawing extra light looking clouds. Don't draw them with a marker, draw them with a crayon first. Then color in carefully around those clouds. Remember to press hard so those clouds can really show up. And there it is, my finished Statue of Liberty drawing. I like how the body is simplified, but you can still appreciate all the folds in her famous robe too. It's just part of what makes her so amazing to look at. Hey, thanks for following along with me, and I hope you've enjoyed this drawing video tutorial. I have even more drawing tutorials like this one on my website, Arch Projects for Kids, including how to draw a flag and how to draw fireworks. I hope you check them out.